Now we are working the latest developments on a suspicious death in Central Falls. Police now tell us they're investigating this as a homicide and they have a suspect in custody. Investigators say the victim's roommate is responsible for the attack that later claimed his life. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now live in the newsroom with more. Brown was arraigned this morning on one count of murder. Now he's being held at the ACI without bail. The face of an accused killer. Central Falls police say Jamone Brown has been charged with the murder of Michael Taylor, a 53-year-old from Central Falls. He was good to, to, to the whole community. He, he, he did what he, what he could for anybody, you know? He was a nice guy. I think he, he seemed to kind of keep to himself a lot. He liked playing the guitar. I didn't know him to bother anyone, you know? Police tell us Taylor was attacked in his apartment on Liberty Street a week ago. He was rushed to the hospital and doctors performed emergency surgery. Taylor died early Tuesday morning. But I'm glad that they caught the guy that did it. I think it's very sad that it happened. Police say Taylor originally identified his alleged attacker as his roommate, but refused to cooperate during the investigation. Police say they tracked down Brown in Providence, and they say the 18-year-old admitted to assaulting Taylor during an argument over missing items from their apartment. No, the victim told police that the suspect was his roommate. Police tell me they're still trying to figure out exactly how the victim and suspect actually knew each other. In the newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.